Hi, I'm Matthew Husted with Center Goss Coffee in Louisville, Kentucky. The purpose of this video is to show you uh, three different varieties of burr sets for grinding coffee. So we're going to start with the first one that's on my right, your left. This particular uh, set of burrs is for your typical retail grinder. We tend to refer to these as a masticating grinder or a masticating burr set. And the reason for that is uh, the, the surface of the grinder or of the burrs that cut the coffee do a lot of chewing and a lot less cutting. The coffee will come in from the hopper through a channel into this gap that receives the whole bean coffee. From there, it hits this first set of teeth which uh, are very coarse, there's no cutting surface to them, and it just breaks the coffee down into smarter, smaller particle sizes. And then that coffee moves out toward the outer rim to these masticating and some cutting surface. The coffee comes out, it's spun out of the grinder housing uh, by resistance that's provided by these wings. So this is your typical retail grinder. Uh, big advantage, they're cheap, they're accessible, they're easy to produce. Disadvantage is they chew versus cut and uh, they produce a lot more heat uh, in coffee and much less consistency in grind size. Second set of burrs. This is from a typical espresso grinder. You'll find these in uh, like a Super Jolly as an example, but almost all decent commercial espresso grinders are gonna have a burr set like this. These operate essentially in the same way as these retail grinders, or retail burrs, um, in that they take whole bean coffee in. Now they, they would uh, be on a horizontal plane versus a vertical plane like these do, but they'll accept the coffee from the larger opening here in the middle. They don't masticate, but they cut right from the beginning. So you have a lot less resistance in the coffee uh, at that stage, much, much more cutting and moving toward the outer rim and uh, therefore less heat, less damage to the coffee. And then the coffee grounds move to a finer and finer set of teeth on the outer rim. A uh, huge advantage to these is controllability over the size of your grind, and we're talking about very fine grind. Uh, also that they cut, creating less resistance in the coffee, therefore less heat, less damage to your coffee. Um, the disadvantage is they're a little more expensive, but they're necessary, especially in espresso applications. So again, you'll find these in espresso grinders. You'll also find these in some higher end retail grinders, but that's not quite as common. And the last set of burrs that we're gonna look at are conical burrs. These come from a uh, compact K10, and this is a conical burr set. You can see right off the bat that it's an entirely different animal than these flat burr sets. The coffee in this instance uh, is gravity fed uh, downward as opposed to uh, the uh, the horizontal, no, these are horizontal, um, into this larger opening where, again, right from the beginning, uh, they're cut with these, uh, with these particular teeth in the burr, and then they move downward to the finer uh, cutting surface of the burr. Real advantage to this is, again, the controllability of grind size. You get a lot less smalls in your grind and much more control, as well as um, the number of RPMs that you can run this particular burr set. You can run them much more slowly, produce a larger quantity of ground coffee with just phenomenal control. So this is a conical burr set. This is, this is what we really prefer. This is ideal. This is a really great uh, burr set from an espresso grinder. And then uh, again, first and last are the uh, retail grinder burrs. Uh, that gives you just a quick overview of the typical type of burrs that you're gonna find in grinders uh, in commercial coffee equipment. And uh, we hope this is useful. Thanks for watching.